Hello everyone and welcome back to our camera review project that we're doing. Today we're going to be reviewing Sony Handycam HD D60 Gigabyte. And this is the DCR SR47 model. Alright, so we got here our box of course, which we got to take a quick look at. So right here, which I believe, yeah, this is the back, you're going to get a few uh, uh, little features about it 60 plus optical zoom, touch panel, face index, easy handicam, multi language operation, stuff like that. All right, so now we're gonna open this up, see what we got. And oh, and also the price this camera is actually extremely cheap, I believe you can get it for around 250 or 300. It's extremely cheap, uh, cheap right now, so. Yeah, so right now we got our owner's manual, discs, all that good stuff. We're just going to set it aside. <coughs> pull this out. And here's the camera. I'm going to set that aside for one second. All right, and right here we have our USB cord right here and our charging cable. I'm going to set these things aside so we can look at the camera itself. Let me get this box out of here. All right, so here's the camera. It'll come in this little bag thing. Nothing too protective. All righty, so here we go. Here it is, Sony Handycam. All right, so it's fairly, fairly compact uh, for the most part. But yeah, all right, it's pretty nice. Open it up, and as it said on the box, this is touch screen. Don't expect, you know, something an incredible touch screen, but it still works pretty nicely and I've had a few other touch screen camcorders before and used a few of them and this one I think is definitely my favorite. It really it has a nice touch screen. I mean again, it's not amazing. It's not like an iPhone or anything, but it's still good. So, yes, works good. Very nice. So, we'll get on with the features right now. All right. So, one thing I thought was rather interesting was this doesn't have um, just the automatic lens cover where once you turn it on, the lens pops open or anything, uh, but it has a manual one right here. You just pop that down. All right, so pop it down to open it, push it up to close it. All right, so I thought that, that was kind of nice because on a lot of other camcorders, the second you turn it on, this is open. So you could just be you know sitting outside uh, watching some of the video that you took and the lens is exposed all the time. So just for protective um, uses, this is actually pretty nice and also then you don't have to worry about a lens cap and you know all that stuff. So that's kind of nice. You have your optical zoom right here, which actually works pretty nicely. And then you've also got a photo button here. And the photo is not amazing on this, just like on any camcorder. It's not really the best, but it works. Excuse me. Now on the front, we've got all of our other different buttons. We've got, of course, our record button, a mode button, and then right here we have our jack for uh, the charging cable. And then right here, on the bottom, is where you can pop in SD cards. But considering this is 60 gigabytes, I highly doubt that you're going to be using SD cards. It you know, all depends, of course. And then right here, this is the microphone, which I thought that was pretty weird that the microphone would be right here, considering when you put the camera on, your fingers are pretty much right over the microphone. So that was one thing that I thought was a little bit weird about this camera, but oh well. And the speaker and let's see here oh yes then the battery pack which is right here and i'm sure you can buy other battery packs i only have one um and it actually lasts fairly long i was surprised it's pretty nice um so pop this open here we go and it works pretty nicely the footage is actually fairly nice on this i'm impressed and so then you just tap down here and you can view your video and all that good stuff and one quick thing before we end this video is uh, the lens right here 
by the lens it is threaded so if you wanted to get like one of those wide angle lens adapters that you can get for camcorders it probably will work with this so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this review like i said you can pick this camera up for around 250 300 it's a great camera i'd highly recommend it thanks for watching bye